In this example, I need to solve the problem 8x minus the quantity 3x plus 6 equals 4. So what type of problem is it? I have an equal sign, so it's an equation. And what's the highest exponent on any of the x's? It's a 1, so this is a linear equation. So here are the steps for solving linear equations. It looks like there's a whole bunch of them, but in most problems, we don't need to do every single step. So the first thing you have to do is if there are fractions, you have to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD to get rid of the fractions. If you have parentheses, you use the distributive property to remove them. You collect like terms on each side. Notice it says if necessary. Then we're going to get all terms with variables on one side of the equation and all constant terms on the other side of the equation. Then we collect like terms again if necessary. Then we solve for the variable and finally we check the solution in the original equation. So let's go back to our example here. And there are no fractions, but there are parentheses. So I'm going to have to use the distributive property to get rid of my parentheses. Please be careful if there's just a negative in front of the parentheses. This is one of the ones students mess up on the most. It's safest to think about this as negative 1 outside the parentheses. And then you're going to distribute it in. So what am I going to get? I'm going to get 8x. Then I have negative 1 times 3x is negative 3x. Negative 1 times 6 is negative 6 equals 4. So I've got rid of my parentheses. Do I have any like terms on this side? Yes, 8x and 3x. So 8x minus 3x is 5x minus 6 equals 4. No more like terms on this side. So I need to collect my x's on one side, constants on the other. Since I only have one lot of x's, I'm going to collect them here. So I need to move this constant here. Since I have minus 6 here, I have to do the opposite to get rid of it. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides. And when I do that, I have negative 6 plus 6 adds up to 0. So I get 5x left on the left equals 6 plus 4 is 10. Now, how do I get x by itself? Since the 5 is multiplied by the x, I do the opposite. So I'm going to divide both sides by 5. These two 5s reduce, so I get left with 1x over 1, or just x, equals 10 divided by 5 is 2. So that is what I think my answer should be. But it's always good to check your answer in the original equation. So I'm going to put x equals 2 here and here. So I have 8 times x, which is 2, minus the quantity 3 times x. So it's 3 times 2 plus 6 equals and we've got to check to see if this is a true statement. So using the order of operations, I need to work out everything in the parentheses first. So I get 8 times 2 minus the quantity. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 6 should equal 4. So 8 times 2 minus 6 plus 6 is 12 should equal 4. So 8 times 2 is 16 minus 12 should equal 4. 16 minus 12 is 4. Does 4 equal 4? Yes, you know now that you have this problem correct.